My piece of advice and piece of uh, guidance uh, as we depart is really to make sure that uh, every HR leader spend time to mentor other people. I've benefited from uh, ex extraordinary mentors in my life, and I still have many of them around, and I wouldn't be the person I am today without those mentors. So I think it's worth for all of us spending time mentoring others around us and give back. I mean, never be afraid to ask lots of questions and really listen and challenge the status quo. And I guess have the courage to believe you can aspire to, to be and do anything and, and go to any heights. And, and you know what? You can. Um, go with your gut. I think you know inherently what the right thing to do is, and a lot of people challenge it. Go with your gut. It's really, mm -hmm. you usually know what the right thing is to do. Pleasure. I think there's two things I'd say. One is, is uh, give people uh, for success in business uh, is, is be a decent person, be a respectful person, uh, be a collaborative colleague. Uh, it will never serve you wrong. Fantastic. Um, and then my final piece, my final piece of advice is uh, live and work live and work outside of your home country. It's a tremendous <laughs> experience. And so uh, those are my two sage advices. But I think if I if I were going to do one thing, I would say you know be client focused and stay current. So perhaps you know be a lifelong learner. Perhaps uh, I would say you know based on my own experiences. Uh, um, It'd be, it'd be very similar to the guy just, you know, Bob Quinn gave me on, on uh, you know, if you're not on the edge of, of, of compromising your career, you know, at least every day, if not every day, at least every week, you're probably not provoking the system enough. And, and I think if you're, if you're going to disrupt HR, and I think disrupt, uh, HR needs to be disrupted, you're going to have to get people to think differently. And if, you know, if, if you're going to get people to think differently, you're going to have to take some risks. Uh, so you have to, to take some, I think, personal risks in order to, to, to advance, uh, you know, the HR function uh, in the future. So you, you can't be afraid to take these kind of risks. Stop talking about work-life balance. Um, for me, probably one of the biggest things uh, that really in, in changed my life was, you know, actually find a job that, that you love, that, a, a company that you have a passion for, and a company that... that um, it, you know, embraces you and values you for your strengths. Um, work is part of your life. So just make that part of your life something that you love just as much as your personal side of life. Um, break the work-life balance myth um, is, is probably my parting guidance. Just um, real simple, help others. You know, I, I think it's the ultimate job of leaders and HR people, maybe even more so than everybody else. You got to help people every single day and find ways to do it. Sometimes no one will ever know. Sometimes they will. Um, sometimes it's telling someone the truth. Sometimes it's overtly helping someone who's in a bad situation. Uh, but to me, all of that comes back to you in life if you do it and, and you have to find some way to do it every single day. I think the Fantastic. key bit of advice is um, hire for judgment, not for skills. And you get a seat at the table as an HR professional, not through technical ability, but your ability to influence outcomes. And that means both doing stuff, but having really good judgment as well. I'm just going to say something that, I, uh, that I've tried to push uh, for the last little while. And it was the inspiration came from our client, Unilever, uh, where they kind of ran a, a campaign uh, called uh, Get Outside. And uh, we took that and, and ran with it uh, within our own um, context. And we had a program for employees around the world encouraging them to get outside. And again, the idea here is... We are so obsessed with busyness uh, and the day-to-day -day that sometimes we just don't take the time to step away and reflect. You know, we talked about running earlier, but, um, you know, getting out, the, the idea of getting outside is just is step out of your office uh, or whatever you're doing and go do something different. Go for a walk in the, uh, in the woods, go for a walk up the street, uh, take your team for a, a walking meeting, whatever it may be. Do something different um, because that inspires curiosity. It gives time for reflection. Um, it re-energizes you. And, uh, and, and that's my piece of advice is, is uh, get outside.